Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're highlighting our heritage of crafting award-winning cheese. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows down Let's take a ride The good land's great Tonight This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. There's no doubt about it, our state knows a thing or two about cheese. And it's all thanks to the dairy farmers and cheesemakers who dedicate their lives to creating the award-winning products that make Wisconsin famous. One thing that puts Wisconsin on the leading edge? All cheesemakers in the state are required to have a cheesemaker's license. At the Center for Dairy Research in Madison, cheesemakers can take high-level courses to help increase their level of expertise. The task force identified an opportunity in specialty cheese. So the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, UW Extension, and Center for Dairy Research came together to capitalize on this opportunity. Jim Path identified all the European master programs, brought that information back, and Bill Wendorf at the Center for Dairy Research developed the guide and the curriculum and kind of ushered in the next level of the program. It's not easy to get accepted into this one-of-a-kind program. First, you have to be a licensed cheesemaker for at least 10 years before you can even apply to the program. After being accepted, they have to have three years of extensive studies and a rigorous final exam. We've got 1,200 licensed cheesemakers in the state. Of that, there's about 70 that have attained the master cheesemaker status. Those are the ones that really have the drive and the passion to keep moving forward and love the continuing education component of the program. Most cheesemakers who enter the program are surprised at how much more they learn, even if they've been making cheese for decades. I think they are more educated. I think they're well trained. They can come to the center and ask for advice on how to make their product better and we will give them advice on how to do that. I think the best thing about the Wisconsin Master Cheesemaker Program is that as they go through the program, they gain confidence, and the result of that is they're more willing and excited to enter contests. The Center for Dairy Research at UW-Madison not only helps companies develop new cheese varieties, they're constantly evaluating products and developing their palates. Judges look for small defects or off flavors in each cheese contest entry, and the difference between first place and last place could be a few tenths of a point. Most of the judges are people who are really involved in either researching or manufacturing or grading cheeses. So a judge needs to be very familiar with the type of cheese that he or she is evaluating. So I have the good fortune right now of being with Mark Johnson, who is a cheese technologist here at the Center for Dairy Research. So I'm going to show you what we do to judge in a contest. This is a Gouda cheese. And the first thing I'm going to look at is the outside appearance to see how wonderful, nice it is, even color. The waxing on it is even. This is called a trier. And I'm going to poke the cheese and hopefully pull out a nice, clean plug. So what I'm looking at is if there's any holes in the cheese that shouldn't be there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smell it. I might pick up some odors that I might not taste. So I'm going to try to bend it. This tells me the flexibility of that cheese, and it should be flexible being a Gouda. If it snaps, it's what we call short. It's going to be acid tasting. I'm going to taste and see what flavors there might be. The other thing is, what does the mouth feel? I have to warm it up. And then I'm gonna push the flavor, the odor, through my nose, the back of my nose. This isn't unlike wine tasting. Yeah. If I had some issues with it, I have a score sheet that I would look at and say, oh, if, if it's acid, I take off acid or bitter or whatever, based on the intensity of the off flavor or the defect. And that's where a trained judge would know what they're doing. So. We've learned how Wisconsin cheesemakers craft the best cheese, but how do they get their cheese to the contest? And what's the benefit of entering? Few people know about the B Team, vital volunteers who keep the contest running smoothly. The B Team controls the whole flow of the cheese through the whole contest. So when the trucks are unloaded, it's pre-sorted, 
by industry volunteers. And uh, after the pre-sort, it goes to the check-in. And from the check-in, it's loaded back on a trailer, it goes to the judging desk. Organization is critical, especially when you're handling, on average, more than 1,800 cheese entries per contest. At most cheese contests, they're the unseen helpers whose dedication ensures the competition will go off without a hitch. When we go to ship the product out, um, each class is labeled by pallet, and then each class is checked off and labeled as we load it into the trailer. There's a loading diagram that'll show exactly where that class is in the trailer on each one that we load. From there, it's on to the contest, where it will be unpacked, sorted, and presented to the judges. If you've attended a cheese judging competition, it's likely you've seen the judges sniffing, tasting, and rolling pieces of cheese. But what exactly are they looking for? Truly what you want is creamy, nice cheddar notes on both. Are the openings even and well distributed, or are they non-existent? The most important thing we're looking for is balance. We, we, we want to be able to taste the cheese and the pepper without any of them overwhelming completely the other flavor. Judges evaluate each entry based on flavor, body and texture, as well as appearance, and deduct for identified defects. Deductions can be as little as a tenth of a point, and it's those subtleties that make the difference. Even experienced cheesemakers can learn a thing or two. Comments, uh, as much as they might hurt your pride, um, you should use them as a learning tool and, and uh, yes, and then you start to say, okay, what's causing those defects? So maybe I can make slight adjustments to my make procedure to try to improve on that because I guess the ultimate for a small cheese maker is to make the best product possible. The reason we share the score sheets with uh, the producers that send the cheese into the contest is so that they can get some feedback on how their cheese did. A lot of the value that most competitions add through their judging is not only saying, oh, your cheese had these defects, but in the comments we try to write, you had this issue and this is how you could fix it, or this could be the source of that issue. The person that put their cheese into the contest gets both the benefit of getting feedback on how good it was, and sometimes even how they can make it better. Taking that feedback to heart can end up making a huge difference for cheese makers. Chris Raleigh of Raleigh Cheese House worked with the Center for Dairy Research to develop a new cheese to celebrate his family's Swiss cheese making heritage. Then, in 2016, Chris won the ACS Best in Show Award with Little Mountain, a Wisconsin original Alpine style cheese. Before we even returned home, the phone was ringing and there was people coming here to buy. So we, we literally sold out of what we had for sale that weekend. But don't worry, he's caught up on production and fortunately, you can buy a wedge or two. I'm at Sartori Cheese in Plymouth, home to the 2017 U.S. Championship Cheese Contest Grand Champion winner for their Black Pepper Bella Vitano and their 2018 World Championship Cheese Contest Best of Class winner for their Espresso Bella Vitano and their Pastoral Blend. So this is the perfect place to find out just what it takes to make an award-winning cheese. Ask any cheesemaker, and they'll tell you the way to judge a great cheese is based on taste. But how do they decide which wheel gets sent off to the contest? Well, I was able to speak firsthand with master cheesemaker Pam Hodgson to get the scoop, or should I say taste. Pam, how do you decide when a cheese is something that you want to submit? Well, Eric, the first step for us is the cheese should be characteristic of what that cheese should be, its definition. Uh, for example, today we have some Montemori cheddar. Ooh. Eric, would you like to try it? Absolutely. Well, it's nutty for a cheddar, especially. Yes. And I got those little crystals in there. Which I love in a cheese, man. Yeah. It's so flavorful like that. Our mission here is to make the best cheese in the world, and we always wanted to do things that were high quality. But, you know, you can kind of get obsessed with your own things. You don't really know if it's special until you, you know, put it in front of people to try it. We focus a lot here at Sartori about making every vat to be the very, very best. Um, build quality and pride into every piece of cheese that we produce. And with awards to back up their quality, Sartori Cheese can say it crafts some of the best tasting cheese in the land. The same could be said at another winning cheese company, Emmy Roth. Wisconsin Cheese wins more national and international awards than any other state or country. And in 2016, Emmy Roth's Grand Cru Sochoa took the Grand Championship Cheese Prize at the World Champion Cheese Contest, a really big deal. So I'm here at their headquarters to find out what it takes to make an award-winning cheese. 
Roth Cheese in Monroe is known for their aged Swiss style cheeses. So that's where I started out in the curing room with cellar master John Kroenke. So we have a, a good wheel of Grand Cru uh, Reserve right here. So looks like that'd be a good contest piece. So then we're going to plug it. Whipping out the trier. Yep, All right. we got our cheese trier here. Plug it about right there. Mm. So once we get the plug out, we're going to look for any openings in the cheese. Uh, we don't want to see any too big of open holes where we would have gas production. We want a quicker break for this kind of cheese, a six month old cheese. So we'll have you break where it gives part. a little bit, yep. but then breaks off clean. You got it. Beautiful. Then we're going to have a taste. Creamy, nutty. It's got um, a brothy, savory note to it. Brothy? Mm hmm. Kind of like chicken broth. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think of that, but now that you say it. So, yeah, this one could potentially go into a contest. Even though Roth Cheese has won numerous awards over the years, the cheesemakers always give credit to the farmers who supply them with the most important ingredient. So we pull in our milk from about a 60 mile radius around the factory and without the special care uh, with the farmers give to the milk and bring it in and the special relationships we have with the local farmers, we wouldn't be able to produce the great cheese we do. So there you have it. It all comes down to the care and passion We've learned about cheese making and discovered the subtle art of evaluating cheese. But now, it's time for the moment of truth. Hollywood has the Oscars, TV has the Emmys, and cheesemakers have championship cheese contests. Some contests are more technical oriented. Some are more, oh man, this looks beautiful. They did such a nice job of sculpting that cheese, you know, that kind of thing. So they're, they're all different in their own way. In fact, the United States Championship Cheese Contest is the nation's premier technical cheese, butter, and yogurt competition. Skilled judges from over 20 states are here to judge cheeses from over 35 states. And they judge on things like flavor, appearance, texture, acidity, a variety of other factors. They start with 100 points and do deductions from there. On alternate years, Wisconsin hosts two coveted cheese competitions. Every odd year, the Lambeau Field Atrium hosts the United States Championship Cheese Contest. And every even year in Madison, the World Championship Cheese Contest is held at Monona Terrace. But all competitions have the same goal. Going back to the 1800s, the goal was to improve the industry. It's really about giving those score sheets back to the cheesemakers with the notes from the judges saying, here's how you could be better, here's where we saw a flaw and watching them grow and become better every year. While cheesemakers continue to improve, more and more companies are popping up, creating new and exciting cheeses for all of us. We have 29 new companies sent in cheese this year than ever before. So that right there is, is many new entries. And a lot of the existing companies keep branching into new cheeses. Many of those companies are right here in the dairy state. And it's not surprising that Wisconsin wins more awards than any other state or country. Known as the Contest for Artisan and Farmstead Cheesemakers, the American Cheese Society competition travels to a different state every year and offers workshops for cheese industry professionals. There are a lot of smaller producers in the U.S. who have kind of had a renaissance in what they're producing. So we really want to recognize all the passion they bring, the small farmers they support, the unique products. And you know, you can't find these products everywhere. Many of them are very small production, and so they're only available within a limited you know, range or distance from the farm. With a spotlight on education, the competition also focuses on the aesthetics and technical aspects of small batch artisan cheeses and dairy products. We have a technical judge who takes off points for defects or, or problem areas in cheeses, and the aesthetic judge is adding on points for character and, and wow factor. And those two points get added together to a cumulative potential score of 100, and uh, first, second, and third place awards medals are awarded for achievement in each category. There are also some great benefits to taking home specific category awards. It helps people understand the, the quality of what we're producing, and it gives us opportunities to find new customers. To be recognized by your peers for an award like this is just amazing because you work 364 days a year for this one day. And perhaps the mother of all competitions is the World Championship Cheese Contest, where cheeses from all over the world are put on display. To consistently win gold means you've got 
everything from your personnel to your culture program, the, 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 the recipe for the cheese, and the grading, the internal grading to try to find that right piece of cheese. It's all got to be dialed in perfectly. You have to be very good at what you do. And there's nothing like the excitement of attending a competition and seeing who the winners might be. At both the World Championship Cheese Contest and the United States Championship Cheese Contest, the final round of judging happens at a ticketed event in front of an exclusive crowd of cheese enthusiasts. I can feel the excitement in the air and smell the heavenly scent of all the cheeses as over 500 people are packed in here tonight, waiting to find out who the grand champion will be. Third place went to Wisconsin cheesemaker Marika Pentriman of Holland's Family Cheese for Marika Gouda over Jarige with a score of 98.39. And second place with a score of 98.419. It's Marika Gouda Premium out of First place went to Gugisberg Cheese, a cheesemaker from Millersburg, Ohio. While Marika may not have won grand champion, it's a remarkable occurrence for a cheesemaker to get two cheeses in the top 20 out of more than 2,500 entries. But for the same cheesemaker to make it into the top three is a testament to Wisconsin's high quality milk and the cheesemaker's commitment to quality craftsmanship. I'm so super stoked with having two cheeses in the top three. I don't know if anybody else ever had that opportunity or that, uh, that fortunate enough. So I feel I just won uh, the Wisconsin lottery. I feel like I've got the jackpot right now. Truly, it's all of us who win the jackpot every time we buy and serve award-winning Wisconsin cheese. Now you know why it's so important for Wisconsin cheesemakers to enter these contests. In fact, we all reap the benefits of the passion and dedication they have towards crafting the best cheeses in the world. I'm Eric Paulson. We'll see you next week. Meanwhile, I'll uh, keep an eye on this for you. This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Time for cheese samples. 